if you watching this video you found some Mary Magdalene East Ham's uh, YouTube channel and we've set this channel up uh, because we're in the middle of this coronavirus situation. I'm on my walk and I've set up the camera so that I can just do a little introduction to the YouTube channel that we've set up. My name's the Reverend Quinton Peppert. I'm the vicar here at St Mary Magdalene's East Ham, this wonderful church set in the heart of East Ham uh, in East London. I'll be doing a little introduction to the uh, church from the outside and also the nature reserve uh, and, and what we, we're here. There is wonderful gems inside the church but at the moment we can't get inside the church and my colleague Reverend John King will be uh, leading a tour through um, the inside of the church once we come to open up the church again. So introducing this church that was built originally in the 12th century by Cistercian monks from Stratford Langthorne Abbey and you may ask the question why are we here in East Ham? Why did they build this church in this particular place? The reason for it is that they had the big abbey at Stratford Langthorne over in, by Stratford, uh, Old Ford area, uh, and they were coming down, the main road coming down uh, by the banks of the Thames was where the A13 is now. And, it, and funnily enough, when I first arrived at uh, this church over 25 years ago, we owned half of the A13. Uh, and we had to, it had to be compulsory purchased by the government uh, in the 1990s. So they, there was this wonderful this road along the banks of the Thames because of that stage, Beckton was a marsh and uh, the, the Thames embankment hadn't been built. So there was water there, so this was a bit of firm ground. And the Cistercian monks that came along, we know they were Cistercians because we've got some wonderful wall paintings in the church, when we'll, which we'll show you once we're inside the church. The Cistercian monks came along and found a Roman burial ground here uh, by the side of the Thames. And we know it was a Roman burial ground because we found some remains here in this churchyard. And so they built this church. It would originally have been a, a smaller structure because they just would have put on the nave and the chancel in the 12th century. And then future generations would have added uh, the tower and the other pieces, uh, parts of the church. At the moment, the church uh, is used by the current congregation and we have services uh, on Sunday at 10 o'clock and at 8 o'clock in the morning and on Wednesday at 6.30 at night and also on Saints Days. And you can look up on the uh, website the various times of the services. The church building is set in this nature reserve. It's now a nature reserve. It was uh, the burial ground. It was one of the largest burial grounds in London. It's 10 acres and it's now managed by the London Borough of Newham. Uh, it's a bit overgrown at the moment uh, as I've been walking around on my daily walk. It gets more and more overgrown but hopefully they'll be back soon to tidy it all up. So I hope you can come uh, and have your daily walk here in the nature reserve. Uh, I open it up regularly every morning uh, so it is open for use for walking around within strict quarantine uh, guidelines uh, but come back to the church itself and come and have a look at the church itself which hopefully will be open in the next uh, few weeks. Uh, I wish you enjoyment uh, in coming to look around the church and the church uh, nature itself. Thank you very much.